So that's something that you can attach to either your, your arm or I put, put it on my abdominum area and it continually measures your blood glucose levels. And of course, when you become a new parent, you're sleep deprived. You're like not you're, sleeping. Yeah, especially a mother when you're waking up nursing your child three times a night. I mean, you're getting very fragmented sleep. And, um, and I was wearing a continuous glucose monitor and it was very eye-opening what was happening to my, my blood glucose regulation. I mean, it was completely shot. What was my, happening? So my levels were looking like pre-diabetic. And this is like, I was still eating healthy, right? I was eating my healthy foods, my vegetables and my salmon and- Blueberries. Um, and blueberries, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't as physically active as my usual because, you know, especially, you know, the first month after having a baby. But um, I'll get to the, some good news in a minute. But that was, you know, to me it was just like, it was so crazy to see like my fasting blood glucose levels so incredibly high. Uh, without changing my diet, really. And, um, you know, I was still sort of physically active. I was going for walks, like, but I wasn't doing my usual, like, a yeah. run. I eventually Strength started training. doing HIT. But, um, so, so the, 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 the point here, here is that actually even just getting one to three hours less sleep per night for three nights in a row. I mean, think how common is it to not, to get one hour less of sleep a night for three nights in a row? So common, yes. so common. It happens to me all the time, all the time. And there's been studies that have looked at, well, what does happen to normal, quote unquote, healthy people that haven't been diagnosed with any sort of metabolic disease? Well, what happens is after three nights of getting one to three hours less, less sleep per night is that their body um, isn't disposing of glucose properly. So their blood glucose levels stay elevated. On top of that insulin, they're not um, making enough insulin to lower the blood glucose levels. And so you get this double whammy, almost looking like insulin resistant uh -huh. or pre-diabetic if you were to just look at the hard numbers. Yes. And again, this is just from not getting enough sleep for three nights in a row. Wow. 